Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at DxO's brand new Pure Raw 2.0. Hey folks, we're going to take a look at Pure Raw 2.0 in this, and basically, it is uh, it's a it's a raw converter that works within Lightroom, and so it basically takes your raw file and does a conversion for you, giving an option to create a, a JPEG or DNG. Now, obviously, because we're dealing with a raw processing pipeline, we'll keep it as DNG. Now, I'm not going to do the actual processing of this because it's a little bit time consuming and takes a little bit back to get in Lightroom, but I'm going to show you stuff that I've processed earlier, just for a shorter video. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to jump straight in, all right, and here is an older file from 2006. It's a concert file. We look in, we see we've got a bunch of noise in here. Uh, now, the whole point is that DxO will get rid of this noise. Now, the first thing I'm just going to do very quickly, jump to develop here and highlight some stuff. I'm going to click reset just to make sure it's completely reset. And what we're going to do is we notice that our sharpening is 40 uh, and our color noise is 25, just highlighting these. Now, we want to do a process with this. So I've already installed, um, I've already installed the, the the files and there's something I'm going to show you very quickly in a second that needs to be done as well and that is not going to be shown by uh, what's happening here because these are already pre-processed uh, so we come in here to file plugin extras and we go to um, process with DxO Pure Raw 2 now here's the thing uh, when you uh, install the plugin you actually get a little dialog box showing you that this is going to happen so it explains what I've just said there so we're going to process so now normally what would happen is at this point you'd get a, a dialogue for an optical module and you would select the camera and lens to download the module. Now I've done it on all of these files so what I might do is pull another file at the end just to show this for you. So you have a couple of methods. You've got, this is the raw processing itself. You've got high quality prime and deep prime. High quality is just basically a fast basic one. Prime is the old one from Pure Raw 1, the original one. But then you've got some deep machine learning with deep prime, hence it's been called deep prime. And this is this uses the GPU a lot more intensive, so you do kind of need a better GPU, and then it gives you an estimated processing time. More details by hitting question mark. Same here on these. You can also um, show what's going on, right? So it'll tell you that you know it uses cutting edge deep learning technology. The next section is the actual optical corrections, which is so you get sharpening and global lens distortion. There's a little disclosure triangle to show these two. They're both turned on by default, which is kind of the whole point of using this particular program. And then your output format is here, you've got JPEG or DNG. Now, the original file here is probably about seven megabytes. So 37 is quite big. But if you have a look at HQ, we we'll see that's 42, up to 42. Prime is up to 38.1, and DPrime is up to 37.6. So DPrime actually creates a smaller file. And the final thing is, where is it going to go? It's going to go into a DXO folder in the original. Now, you can have it in a custom folder that you choose for your browse. And if you do that, you can also have this little star. See the way we hover, if we click that, that can become a favorites folder. By clicking on the little ellipse here, we can see that we've got favorite paths here. And then whatever is being recently used also shows up there. When you click browse and select a new location, it becomes this gray line here and overwrites whatever was there previously. So if you click process, um, that will give you a little process. Let me just click process for this for the sake of it. It gives you this little dialogue. But I'm actually going to cancel that because I already have this done. And so by coming in here, we can see this is the deep prime version. So by going backwards and forwards between the two, you can see there's way more contrast and we can see that there's some optical corrections uh, being applied. And so now I'm going to just um, go to grid for a second, make sure the two of them are selected. Press C for compare. Oh, sorry, I pressed V there by accident. Um, and then press C for compare. And then we zoom in around the microphone. Okay, and we can see that this is actually slightly sharper, which is unusual. Um, Although there's a different kind of detailing in this, but we can see here there's no noise here whatsoever, and there's a lot of noise here. So that is one of the things that's going on there. Now, if I go to D for develop, and uh, this, this is, I've actually already added a little bit to this myself. By default, this actually comes in with zero sharpening. And um, so you can add sharpening to it as well, you want, and a little bit of masking as well. I just did that to get this particular image up to scratch when I was just comparing them. Again, we can see there's no color noise uh, being added here because it's already been processed in the raw itself. Okay, so let's have a look at another image. So this is an, an astro image. We've literally just done exactly the same thing as you saw there. So we're gonna zoom in here. And again, we can see that like the difference here is huge. It's way, 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 way cleaner. 
all the noise is gone. Uh, good for astro images like that as well. Okay. Now these are kind of some. Well, that's, this isn't as old. This is a 5D Mark III. The previous one was a, a 20D, so much older. So it's, it's good for processing older files, definitely. Uh, but these are this is a more modern file, and uh, so something like this church here as well. Again, is a more modern file. Again, just see for compare as well. So we can see that the actual DXO file is a little bit sharper. And if we look in the edges, we can see it's slightly lighter here and has done a little bit of correction. And then the final file here, which we're just going to look at for comparison, is a portrait. We zoom in here, if we look at the hair detail, we can see, look how much more detail is in the hair with D prime. And again, textures and pores look way, way better. So from that point of view, it's very, very good as like a preprocessor before you're getting in to do your raw. So I have another image here now that I just dropped in really quickly. And this is to show you uh, the modules, optic modules. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm recording. So what we're going to do is we're going to do file, uh, plugin extras, and process with the XO Pure 2. And so what it does is it brings up the, the XO optic module. And you get this option. Now, sometimes if the metadata is not clear, you might have a, like a list of them, like I did for the 72200. And you can see here that it's correctly identified the lens, the XT4 uh, a camera, and the 50 to 140 lens. So I'm going to click Download Selection, and you click Save. And then what it does is it brings you into the dialog box again. And so I'm just going to cancel that. That was just to show you the optical modules. So folks, that's a very quick look at Pure Raw 2.0 from DxO. Now, like I say, it's best in class optical correction, great noise reduction, sharpening of images is very, very, very good. So if you like what DxO does and you don't want to be using Photolab because you've got so much invested in Lightroom, this is a great option. It's also a really good option if you've got lots of low light, low light stuff, like nighttime photographs or concerts or things like that. It does have beautiful noise reduction that's been done at the raw level. So, you know, Anything you do from there on has got the noise reduction within it as well. So you're not trying to work out what's the best noise reduction for image because it's already done. Hopefully you like that, folks. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, hit the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And I'll see you in the next video.